Trust Your Mind back, well, three weeks ago, had a chat with a lovely woman who's the owner of a pub restaurant in Oamaru. It's the Waitaki Super Soup Sipper. It started on the 6th of July and, and finishes up this weekend. And it's gone beyond Oamaru uh, to the wider Waitaki district. This is its second year and has seen 21 cafes and restaurants submit their own taking on a variety of warming bowls of soup for the three-week festival. Um, plays, b- b- pubs like Badger and Mackerel, Tea Street, restaurants like the Criterion Hotel in Brighton, which I've actually stayed at, along with new entran- entrants, the Moeraka Boulders Cafe, the Fort Enfield, uh, Onomata's Best Damn Pub, uh, the Flying Pig in Dundroon, Dundroon. So we've got some really good participation and I wanted to catch up with the lovely Kristen Murdoch, who is the owner of Fat Sally's Pub and Restaurant in Omaru. Kristen, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? So good to talk to you again. Kelly and I were like, we've got to catch up with Kristen and, and see how how the how Fat Sally's has been going with the with the super soup sipper. And oh, how has it you. how's it going? Yes, great. We think it was an absolute great success. And it's definitely brought people out of their houses and made sure that they've got the stamps on their passports. So nice. for us, it was definitely a success. So remind remind the listeners again, uh, Kristen, what soups Fat Sally's had on offer. So we had the seafood chowder, Oof. we had the curried kumra soup, and we had sweet chilli pumpkin. <sighs> And and who was which one was more popular than the other, or were they all kind of the same? Who, who, who were ordered what? Uh, it was actually surprising. I would say the curried uh, kumra soup would be the winner out of the three. Actually, oh, oh wow, yeah. okay. I thought the old seafood chowder might have got in there, but that's interesting. Yes. Eh? Yeah. yeah, that's what we thought too, but no, it didn't actually. <laughs> now, you mentioned um, a, a passport and people might be going, why the hell do you need a passport to go and eat a bowl of soup? <laughs> so this was a good idea. This was introduced. So you visit, is it, you visit, you get a passport, you visit five outlets or more that are participating yep. and you get stamps to prove that you've gone to these places and what, you can win vouchers, win, uh, you know, worth up to, God, some are worth over $100. Yes, yes. So then you go into the draw to win vouchers from all the participating restaurants oh. and pubs and things. Yeah, but people have got really behind it and turned it into a bit of a competition. So oh, we've had to go brilliant. out and get different kind of stamps. And yeah, it's been a hoot. It's been oh, good. It's good fun. And um, and so when people come in to Fat Sally's and then they go to order, do they show how many stamps they've got? And they've gone, we've been here, here, here. Yes, yes, exactly. <sighs> That's great, and do they? Yeah, what do they say? I think, what are, I think. I think the whole idea of this, from what I understand, is you know it's great for the community. It's getting all the businesses involved. You know, it's a hard time still. It's winter, and to get like mm. you said, to get people out of the homes and into restaurants or cafes. Mm. This has been well for you at least. It's been a real success. Have you spoken to any of the other entrants? You know, any of the other pubs and restaurants? No, I haven't actually, but. I will give it to the council. They've done an amazing job at promoting everybody's social media posts. They've given us table talkers for all our tables and all the cafes and restaurants with your particular soups and promoting your place. So it's all individualised to each place. So I've got to give it to them for giving such good promotional stuff as well because it's cool. Even tourists have come in to oh. any kind of pub or cafe, seen those table talkers, and then they've gone to another cafe the next day. And so it's created a bit of a hype and a conversation just even with those people rather than just the locals. Gosh, so that's it's great. definitely a win from that aspect as well, I think. And that's really, that's for the second year, you know, that's a really, that's a good indication that, you know, it's only going to get bigger and better. Um, oh, so yeah. and and you know, Waitaki is known for for a lot of locally grown, high quality produce. So I'm sure many of the entrants have have really delved into that. Yes, definitely. And there's been a lot of hearty veggie soups. Oh. There's beautifully grown veggies around the area. So yeah, it's it's a win in more it's ways than one. Do you know now, Kristen? Though, as it gets bigger and better, you know, as the years it 
you know, next year, you better start yeah. thinking about your next. You know, it's like it's like the pie awards. Each pie, each year, the pies just get more kind of advanced and and gourmetish. You know, you're going to have to you're going to have to serve it in a hollowed out swan or something. I don't know. You're going to have to think yeah, of something. We're going to have to step up our game. We're going to have you to are, think outside the box, but not too crazy. Yeah. Oh, you say that now, Kristen. I'll be talking to you in a couple of years, and you'll be like, "Oh, yeah, yeah we. It's got it's got fireworks that come out of it. You have no idea what the soup can do. You know, it's you'll it, definitely it, be coming to order one then, though. I will. I will, I will fly down to have your soup if, fi- if fireworks pops out of it. That absolutely. <laughs> Hey, so so just seriously though, this has been such a good promotion for for hopefully all of those participating. Is there an overall winner? Is there a do you do you get soup of the year? What what what? Well, could you no, walk away with something? No, no, there's no overall winner. It was just oh. seen as something to bring everyone in the community together and get people out of the house, support other businesses. Yeah. So for I think that's a win in itself whether we get anything from it or not. But even people that would have never normally come in here and or into any other businesses and tried yeah. some of these things that we have on the menu full time, it's a great way to showcase that as well. Well said, yeah. Although I do think a little title you can you can put in the window and say winner of last year's, you know, super soup oh, sipper. And then, yeah. you know, then people line up the next day and they want it. So <laughs> But again that's exactly. to come. Um, but, Kristen, it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure and um, thank you for talking to us again. And, and and what finishes on Sunday, but you won't take the soup off the menu, will you? Or do you? What do you do no. then? No, no, yeah. no. We'll keep the soup on and it will continue to change during this winter period. But once summer hits, then that'll be soups for the winter done. Done. Kristen yep. Murdoch, you are a fabulous person. Owner of Fat Sally's Pub and Restaurant in Omaru. Thank you again for talking to us. And yeah, well, you heard it there. It's been uh, it's been great. Second year brings the community together. Even even tourists at walk in now know because they've got obviously these conversation things happening at the tables, and it's just going to get bigger. I don't think Kristen realizes how big this could be.